Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of USD, CAD, US dollar, Canadian dollar. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis and do check out the Forex analysis playlist on my YouTube channel for the analysis of other pairs like Euro, USD, GBP, USD, Gold, USD and many more. So let's get started. So this is the four hour chart of USD CAD in front of us right now and as we all know that USD CAD was in uptrend but right now it is trading below the trend line here which was acting as a support. So previously the market was in uptrend following this trend line respecting the trend line as a valid support but right now as the market is trading below the support level for quite some time so this trend line is no longer required. So you can see that market is trading at 1.2554 this is the current market price here and if we just look at the overall chart right now then we do not get a clear picture like we used to get before there was a trend line market was an uptrend it was a sweet and simple chart but the sweetness is gone okay the simplicity is gone because you can see that right now market is forming lower highs and we have a support at 1.2500 and as we all know we have also dxy which is in the downtrend and as we all know dxy us dollar has direct impact on the usd cad because whenever us dollar goes up usd cad goes up and when us dollar goes down usd cad also goes down and right now us uh, us dollar is in downtrend and trying to recover from this support level here so so US dollar is under the dominance of sellers for quite some time and right now trying to recover from the support here. So we do not have a proper picture about the US dollar as well. When market was in, when US dollar was falling, we knew it very well that yes, selling pressure is there in the dollar market. But right now it is respecting this support level. So therefore dollar is trying to recover. We do not have a clear picture whether US dollar will be going for a trend reversal or the same selling pressure will be there in the US dollar. So and if we go to the chart of US oil or uh, crude oil because we know that crude oil also has a direct impact on US decap chart. So US um, the crude oil also does not tell us a clear picture. I, so we do not have a clear picture from the DXY US dollar and also we do not have any clear picture from the uh, crude oil therefore we are stuck with the chart of USD get so the external forces or the external uh, impacts are not giving us any any proper picture so therefore what should be a strategy on USD get because we have seen that US dollar is all we are not sure about the trend reversal of the US dollar or whether US dollar will be under the same influence of sellers or what will happen to the crude oil so we do not have a clear picture so one thing that we must focus on the chart of USD CAD is that we have a support at 1.2500. You can see that whenever market faced some selling pressure from above, this was the level that provided support to the market. And again, you can see that this level provided support to the market yesterday. So apart from this support level, we also have a trend line which is acting as a resistance for the market. But we cannot consider this trend line as a very strong, very strong resistance because see, this is a new resistance. This is not an old one. So we do not have a proper clarity about the resistance as well. So if you ask me, Abilas, what should be your strategy? Then I do not have a proper, uh, proper or clear picture about the USD CAD. What I can just tell you is that if market comes down okay if market comes down to 1.2500 and bounces you can think about taking a buy position you can think about taking a buy position and your take profit target will this trend line because this trend line is acting as a resistance for the market and on the other hand if market reverses okay if price reverses from this trend line and if you see price rejection from above if you see that market is respecting this trend line as a valid resistance then you can think about shorting the market but i'll request you not to take any heavy position only go for uh, follow proper risk management do not risk more than two to three percent of your trading capital because 
you can see that right now market is trading in a very narrow range here we have a resistance above we have a support below and right now market is in a very narrow range here we do not have a clear picture about the us dollar and crude oil so be careful do not take any risk here only short the market at the resistance and go for buy at the support do not trade in the middle so 1.2500 on the downside is important and this trend line is important as a resistance okay so and in case you see market crossing the resistance level or breaking the support level then if you want to avoid usd cat you can avoid there are other currency pairs with plenty of opportunities so this is it hopefully you understood if you have liked the video and found the video informative keep a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis thank you so much all the best take care see you tomorrow again bye bye